All right, I'm speaking with Matt Rosati out here at Waterfront Park in Trenton, New Jersey. Got a whole load of questions from the Phillies Nation. Uh, Matt, your ultimate goal, obviously, uh, as same as every minor leaguer, is to, is to reach the big leagues. Jackson wants to know, as long as you get the chance, does it matter which team you get to the big, big leagues with? No, not at all. I think, uh, you know, that's what you play for. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a Philly. That's what it says in the uniform, and that's what I was brought up. But uh, I think once you make it there, and the ultimate goal is, is just the big leagues in general, it doesn't matter what uniform you're, you put on, you know, just as long as you're there. Okay. A uh, few different people asked the same or a similar question. Rory, Dan, Sean, and Paul. Uh, not to be confused with Sean Paul. Right. Uh, did you ever try or were you willing to try a corner outfield position or another position as a professional? I was willing to try, and I did try. I, when, uh, I played a few games out in, uh, when I was in Instructs. When my first year I got drafted, and uh, I didn't do too bad. You know, it's just one of those things that... At the time, Mike Taylor was coming up, you know, Dominic Brown, all that stuff. So yeah. those guys had to play the outfield, you know, and I couldn't even kind of squeak a game in. So that kind of just got kicked to the curb. So Zach wants to know, are you tired of people asking that same question about a position change? Yes. <laughs> right on. Craig would like to know, um, he wants to know what it, feels, what it felt like when you began your pro career and just starting your road toward that big league dream. Uh, it was cool. You know, um, that's what you. That's what you spend your whole your whole life doing. You know, I went to high school, and after you know, in high school, your ultimate goal is to make it to college and you know play baseball in college. And once you play in college, I think your ultimate goal is to be drafted. And uh, once I got started with that, it was it was a bit of a shock. You know, I think uh, you got to get used to the life. And my first year was a little bit rough. And I think anyone's is. Once I got used to the life, I loved it. Scott says you look pretty awesome. Thank you. Christina uh, asks. Which major league pitcher would you most like to face and why? Ooh, I don't even know. I could tell you which major league pitchers in the past that I would not like to face. That's cool. Randy Johnson, I'd be, I'd be scared to go mm -hmm. in the box. Uh, Billy Wagner, same thing. Just lefties that throw ridiculously hard and have nasty sliders that start like behind you and just come across the plate. Um, pitcher I'd like to face? I don't know. Halliday, Beckett. You know all the all the big names. I think. You know, I never got a chance to face. Uh, Roy Halliday in spring training. I was kind of hoping for it, but, uh, you know, just to see, you know, like these are the best in the game. You just, you, know, you always want to see what that's kind of like. Like, how is he so much different from the guy who is not labeled the best or just the regular starter? So that'd be cool. Absolutely. Jason asked, uh, did you think your journey to, ma to the majors would be this lengthy or tough? Yeah. I think, uh, you know, you don't really have a timetable. You would like to think, you know, you progress, you know, every every uh, every level a year, you know, and I think uh, I think the whole thing is it doesn't matter about the amount of time, just as long as you get there, so I think, yeah, definitely. It was. A Balls asked, who's the funniest guy in the Phillies uh, developmental system? Who? that's tough. Tag, both aides up there. Um, funniest staff member we have? I don't know. That's tough. Parents pretty funny. Yeah. It really is. Uh, Dickie Knowles is Absolutely hysterical. Really? Um, trying to think of other people. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. yeah, okay. Absolutely good enough. Uh, Rob asked, how do, you mentally, how do you stay mentally and physically prepared? And uh, he also asked, uh, if given the chance, could you uh, fill the void at the major league level if there was an injury or something crazy that happened? I'd like to think I could. You know, uh, I'd like to say I definitely think I could. I think... Uh, that's what I'm playing for, you know, the, the field's the same, you know, the only thing that changes is the crowd, really, I mean, when you break it down, it's just that, you know, tonight we're going to be playing in front of whatever it is, 8, 10,000, you know, if I go up to the big leagues, it's 40,000, you know, it's, it is what it is, you know, as a minor leaguer, those are things that you kind of hopefully don't factor into your game, mm -hmm. you know, and then once you get there, you keep it unfactored into your game, so I think I could. Rich asked, how would you react if your name popped up in trade rumors? That'd be cool. Yeah, good to know you're wanted. Yeah, no, that'd be that'd be pretty cool. I mean, uh, last year or two years ago, whenever it was that we were making that deal for uh, what was it, Oswalt or whoever it was. Was that last year? Oswalt was, was, was the one last year. I guess. I guess that was last year. I get confused. Yeah, they last all, July. They all blend together all mm -hmm. the years. So, uh, you know, my name was popping up out of out of nowhere, and it was just cool to, you know, wow, I could 
watch Roy and then, like, you know, watch him pitch him growing up and could I be, you know, potentially in that, that'd be cool. Uh, somebody asked, uh, why double A and not triple A for you this year after you spent time with Lehigh last year? Who asked that? Uh, somebody. I think his name's Dave. Okay, Dave. That's a great question, one I wish that I knew the answer to. Okay. You know, uh, that's a question that I'm asking myself or, you know, anybody in general. I think, uh, you know, uh, I was told that the uh, the reason I was coming back was because they just wanted to see me get a few more at bats, you know, just see me see me succeed more and all that stuff. So I think uh, I was I was a little shocked, but who wouldn't be? As as guys go up and, and actually do move on to Lehigh this year from Reading, um, you know, uh, Laris goes down, uh, Franson goes up. Uh, your your boy Overbeck uh, makes the move up there. Uh, is there any level of, of you know uh, of discouragement when when that happens and it's not your name? Of course. Yeah. I think that, that's only natural. Mm -hmm. it has nothing to do with the person who's actually being promoted. Absolutely. When Cody got promoted, you know I was I was absolutely happy for him. But you know at the same time you know the human aspect kicks in. Like why not me? You know I think and uh, you know all you can do is all right it happened. Go out and play your game here, you know, and keep putting up numbers. That's really the only thing. Uh, and then one last one, and, th and thanks so much for all of this. Um, somebody asked, uh, what was it like competing in the Home Run Derby this week with uh, up in New Hampshire with guys like uh, Gilbert McDade and Sierra, and, wh and what do you think of those guys? Uh, it was awesome. It was a cool experience. I think uh, it's a learning experience, that whole Home Run Derby, because you try and hit the ball so hard and far, and you don't even need to. You know, you just need to just take BP and just hit the ball over the fence. That's really what matters, and uh, everyone gets so nervous, but it was cool to watch everybody have that feeling and then have that feeling back off. It was cool to watch. Uh, all those guys are great. You know, we had a great time. Moises Sierra was hitting bombs. I think he knocked a gutter off the hotel wow. that was up there. So uh, McDade did a great job. He wanted. He was hitting bombs too. You just can't, up in that stadium, you can't tell the distance he's hitting them because all it is is a short fence and there's nothing. You know, Sierra had a, a hotel to measure up to. Mm -hmm. So it was pretty cool to watch. Matt, as always, I appreciate your time. No problem. And good luck to you in the future, brother. Thanks, bud. All right.